we have a career sector that's dedicated just to engineers, and we benefit to a large extent by our location. I mean, we um, we live in an engineering city. Those of you who come, and those of you from Rice, you have the same advantage. But if you come from um, a city that or a community that doesn't have a large engineering uh, business base. Getting the opportunity to work even during the academic year is probably more problematic. But at, at the College of Engineering, our upper division engineering classes are scheduled. They start at about one or two in the afternoon and they run till seven or eight at night. And we have no scheduled class on Friday. And that's deliberate so that it allows students to be able to work between 15 and 20 hours a week during the entire academic year. So many of our, I mean, the one thing I tell students is please don't show up to me at graduation if you haven't had an internship or a book. Because most companies are using that as a bar that you have to pass before you can even interview um, for a permanent position. Most companies will go to that co-op and intern pool first for their permanent hires and then go to campus recruiting if they don't meet their hiring uh, quotas out of that pool. So those of you, I know some of you are freshmen, many of you are pretty early in your career, you need to build that into your process. You need to make sure that you, just like you plan the sequence of your classes, you need to plan for the opportunity to get some good work experience. Um, you need to go to your career fairs, prepare. I mean, the kiss of death is for you to walk up to a company and say, tell me what your company does. Companies spend millions of dollars developing websites, developing communication, and you need to do your homework. And they know you have access to them. And I, I've had students who, if they took, they've done just fine in the interview, and then the company says, do you have any questions? And they say, yeah, tell me what your company does, and they blow it. So you need to take some responsibility for preparing for your career fairs, but you need to go to them. You need to work them. You need to get some coaching on how to work a career fair, how to do follow-up. Yes, it matters that you're in a jacket and a tie. Okay. It matters. It says, I, this is important to me. And that's how you demonstrate what's important. I have students who argue with me about that the person that's interviewing them is a football star. And I very dramatically remind them that that person already has a job. <laughs> okay, so take advantage. There's lots of information at your career center. There's lots of information online. Um, and, and getting a job is a job. Doing the work to get a job is a job.